Good morning and welcome back to Almas Market Mornings, your daily dose of global financial updates. Yesterday's market was a little dry, lacking any major economic data apart from the German inflation figures. But, but attention once again was on the Japanese yen, which traded briefly above 160 levels, but after that the USD JPY pair experienced a fall below 155 levels on a rumored Bank of Japan intervention. Uh, morning JK, it seems the line on the sand for USD JPY is now at 160. What are your thoughts? Has it released some pressure of the other uh, major Asian currencies? Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, I think it's uh, still a question whether this intervention is going to be a consistent one or, and how much impact it is going to have because uh, the intervention is uh, standalone in the sense uh, we have not seen any other central banks or uh, Fed uh, joining, uh, which would have a uh, good impact on the markets. Also, the conditions uh, for yen to strengthen, that is uh, Bank of Japan tightening or Fed loosening, these are not uh, on the horizon uh, at all. So without that, I don't think market has a conviction to buy the yen on its own. Yes, there can be some uh, sell-off in the dollar due to profit-taking if uh, BOJ continues to persist with their selling at higher levels. But there needs to be uh, you know, some other fundamental development. If you look at the data that was uh, published today from Japan, the industrial production um, <coughs> uh, and the unemployment rate uh, and retail sales, all of them were on the weaker side. So Japanese economy is still, uh, you know, very, very weak uh, uh, growth. So I don't think they will be in a position to, uh, you know, hike interest rate uh, uh, or change their monetary policy. Uh, also, Japan has a huge debt of close to 260% of their GDP. So any hike in interest rate would be uh, detrimental to their fiscal so these are the con reasons why I feel the Japanese intervention at this point of time is going to have a li limited impact and uh, possible that they put a cap at 160 levels and then remain there. They may not change the prices much lower and wait for something to change like Fed policy, uh, you know, uh, which will help the yen to recover. Yes, although officially they denied the intervention yesterday, uh, they, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, reliable reports say that uh, they were on the offers uh, uh, through the banks. Uh, but however, uh, the market has not really broken one, 155 and it trades between 155 half and 157 half uh, uh, consistently since then. Now, while, uh, you know, Japanese um, intervention has been in the focus, there was enough focus on the Eurozone uh, or rather the German inflation as well. Because uh, ECB policy next uh, is a very important one because that's where we are likely to get an indication on uh, a June rate cut. German inflation came mixed on a month on month basis. Uh, uh, you know, it was, uh, uh, it, you know, as expected, but on a year on year basis, both harmonized and uh, uh, German in, uh, country specific inflation was uh, slightly higher than expected. So there's some, some signs of stickiness in the German inflation. Now, of course, we will look at uh, Eurozone inflation, which will be a uh, flash inflation rather, which will be published today to get a uh, better sense of what the ECB would do. But majority view, as we have shared earlier, is for a cut in June. Now, most likely, I think after a cut in June, uh, ECB will uh, will not follow it up with more rate cuts. I think they would be also on the observation. Uh, we, before they meet in June, we have more inflation numbers as well. Uh, so, and on the economy. So, therefore, it's not a given that, you know, there will be a series of rate cuts in uh, Europe. So, that, from that point of view, Eurozone data or rather German data yesterday was uh, important as well. Uh, as for the impact on other currencies, uh, Chinese yuan actually strengthened a little bit after the Bank of Japan uh, moved the yen, uh, dollar yen lower. Uh, accordingly, Asian currencies had a little bit of impact, but again, uh, in view of uh, the impending Fed meet tomorrow, uh, markets are remaining in a range, uh, both 
in terms of uh, bonds and also the currencies. Euro, for example, moving between 10680 and 10720 broadly. Sterling is slightly, you know, firmer, but still not, you know, out of the range. Uh, we have the other commodity related currencies, which are formed because, you know, commodities have been uh, rallying consistently, uh, but nothing out of the range. So I think FOMC uh, focus is uh, driving the market and uh, what FOMC will say and what Powell will say, if particularly if there is a pointed question about whether Fed will hike rates, that's the, uh, you know, important and interesting thing that we will watch out for. Uh, as of now, September rate hikes is still on balance, and now people are moving, shifting their expectation for a hike in December. So this is a moving target that we will keep watching as far as Fed is concerned. Uh, on the rupee, again, uh, we had uh, the rupee trade on a weaker range yesterday uh, because of uh, month in demand, not because of any other issue. If you look at the domestic uh, stock market, we had... Uh, uh, a, a new high made in the banking nifty and a good uh, interest seen from investors uh, in Indian assets still even the bond yields in India have dropped uh, in the uh, recent past. So uh, domestic macros good uh, rupees uh, marginal weakness yesterday was driven by month and demand and possibly it can be seen today also uh, but not expecting a break of 83.50 ahead of FOMC uh, tomorrow and uh, also the fact that RBI has been present above 83.50 consistently. So on the whole, uh, Japanese uh, yen, I would say, has seen some stop in their uh, upside, uh, uh, you know, upside move. Uh, but whether it will have a larger move like it had in 2022 or 2023, that we will wait and see if that does happen. It can have an impact on other uh, currencies as well. Otherwise, uh, we wait for what uh, Fed has to say. Thank you. Thank you, JK. And uh, just quickly summarizing, uh, the intervention consistency is a question for the Bank of Japan because the conditions for yen to strengthen, uh, which is either Bank of Japan tightening or Fed loosening, it's a, uh, it isn't on the cards yet. So it uh, really puts into question whether the intervention will be consistent. But as of now, it seems uh, 160 is the li uh, line in the sand. Chinese yuan also strengthened yesterday post uh, the intervention by BOJ in the yen market. Uh, German inflation was mixed uh, as expected on a MOM basis, but on a year-on-year -year basis, it was higher uh, than expected. And eurozone inflation will be next uh, to be released today. Uh, currencies are range bound ahead of FOMC and uh, even for rupee we weaken due to month end demand and not expecting a break higher than 8350 ahead of the FOMC. That's it from us today. Thanks for listening. Tune in tomorrow for the latest in the financial market.